There is a deep chill on our doorstep in the capital region, and that has triggered a code blue declaration for the next five nights in Albany and Saratoga Springs. Let's go to Ben Amy, who joins us live from Saratoga with more on how shelters are preparing for the cold. Good morning, Ben. Well, good morning, Phil. And if that deep chill is on our doorstep, it is certainly knocking at the door right now. The wind here in Saratoga Springs certainly picking up here this morning, uh, dropping wind chills. But as temperatures drop this week, it could really get dangerous for those who are living on the streets and the homeless in our area. Those that work with the homeless say that despite the unemployment rate in the capital region dropping, they haven't noticed homelessness going down yet. They say many of the homeless are veterans or working poor who may be too proud to ask for other forms of help. Organizations that run shelters also say that poverty is a problem, but that there is also a high degree of substance abuse and mental health problems among the homeless population. According to local experts, hundreds uh, in just the Albany area alone could be in need of shelter every night. I would say on any given night there's probably uh, somewhere between 500 and 1,000 that are, are looking for shelter. And Code Blue organizations say that sh uh, they are looking for volunteers for three-hour shifts to help out at shelters. Uh, due to the high ex uh, demand expected this week, we'll have a link to those volunteer opportunities on our website, WNYT.com. Reporting in Saratoga Springs, I'm Ben Amy. Phil? All right, Ben, thanks very much. Uh, go get warm, and we'll talk to you a little later this morning.